Subtask rollup to issue formulas are used for the summation of duration fields within subtasks and the storage of the resulting values within the parent ticket. Starting from the main abacus page, I'll need to select the button underneath the title Duration Formulas that says Create Formula. Next, I'll need to click on the bolded text labeled Subtask Rollup to Issue. This screen is where I will edit the specifics of my formula. I'll need to give my formula a descriptive name. For my example, I want to summate the total travel time for deliveries based on the estimated travel time within the subtasks of an issue. For the subtask field, I'll choose Travel Time, and for the function, I'll choose Sum. I'll select the result field of total travel time as this is where I'll want the result of the calculation to populate. Lastly, I'll need to save the formula by clicking the Save Formula button. Next, I'll move on to creating the execution plan. I'll need to specify when I want the plan to execute the formula. For this example, I'll want that to be when an issue is created or when an issue is updated. Once the plan is saved, I'll move on to testing out the formula in Jira. I'll head back to the main page and view a ticket that I created earlier. Within the ticket, I'll create a subtask and make sure to fill in the travel time field with the duration 5H or 5 hours. Once I click the Create button and move back to viewing the parent ticket, I can see that the subtask has been summated to the result field I specified back during formula creation, Total Travel Time. If I create another subtask and this time specify 4H or 4 hours in the travel time field, once I save it, I can see in the parent ticket that the travel time total has jumped from 5H, illustrating the effects of summating those subtask fields within the issue.